Hey, what's up? Mackie here, bringing you on a journey through Logic Studio Pro. So this video, we're going to be looking at setting up a bus in Logic Studio. So first thing we need to do is open the application down at the bottom in your dock. Okay, so I have a project that I'm working on at the moment, so I'll use that as an example. Okay, so sorry, that's just something I had on there. So what we need to do is I have this vocal here, the main hook in the chorus and it sounds too pronounced, too clear, too up front and I need to blend it back and give it more depth and ambience in the track so we can push it a lot more and it'll have more air to breathe. So there's two ways of doing this. We can go to the inserts of the channel strip and add our reverb that way or we can go to sends. So what a bus is basically, it's an external pathway within Logic. So I'm setting up a bus now, it's going to be sending that, that signal to the bus. So at the amount that you apply to it, it's going to send that amount of signal to the bus and the bus is going to have the, the effect on and that's going to play back the effect. So go to the next uh, bus in your, in your list, so bus A from yourself. So when you load up bus A, it's going to appear in the channel strip beside what you're working on. So next thing we need to do is go down and name it. So this is going to be a short reverb or VB. Just so we can call back on it again because the one cool thing about buses is you can have real heavy processing going on here. So you can use real heavy processing plugins and you can then go to say your back and vocal apply the same bus short reverb give it that bit more signal and it's doing no extra to your processing because it's an external pathway so it's sending the signal there so you're just enabling the signal to get through by opening the valve if you would like to look at it that way okay so Dave lead vocal is where we're going to be working off so we've set up our bus we've named our bus short reverb now we need to insert the reverb onto it so we do that by holding and I'll use the reverb space designer it comes standard in the box with logic now we'll go through the presets it comes with many presets so we'll get a medium space um, a hall a bright hall so I'm sure when you're, when you're working it yourself you can tune it up yourself and give it more or less or whatever you need to suit the song that you're working with so now what we need to do is open the valve so we do that by clicking on it and pulling it up we can also open it completely by clicking on alt on the keypad and clicking on it and that will open it up completely so what we need to do now is play it and blend it in so we've got the right amount of reverb coming in And that's how you set up a bus in Logic Studio Pro.